In part 16 of my Unity tutorial series, How to Write a 3D Space Shooter Game in Unity, I teach you how to add turrets to your ship that can automatically lock on and track an enemy target as you fly around. So grab your favorite beverage, pull up a chair, and follow along as I teach you how to write a 3D Space Shooter Game in Unity. So this video is sort of a command performance. Uh, one of my viewers, Hazen, had requested that I do an episode on turrets. Uh, he had a question about how to implement turrets that would track a target from a moving object like a spaceship. And I thought that would make an interesting topic for a tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. And in order to get a turret, I need an asset. So let's go into our package manager and under my assets, I'm going to filter by turret. And there's a sci-fi turrets cannon. And if I view this in the asset store, you see it's free. So that would be a good one for me to include in this tutorial because I can include the asset on my GitHub repository for you to grab, or you can go grab it yourself from the asset store. I'll have a link in the description. So I've already downloaded it, so I just need to import it into my project. And I'm gonna import the entire package. And it imported it into this sci-fi turrets folder. And I'm gonna drag it into my projects folder here. And let's drill in there and see what we've got. Uh, there's a scene and a demo settings for that scene that we don't need. So I'm just gonna delete those. And go into the prefabs. And there are a few different ones. There's a single barrel turret, another single barrel turret. I like this one, a double barrel turret. And then there's some variations. This one looks like a couple of mini guns. And that looks kind of like missile launchers. I think I want to use this one. So I'm just going to drag that as a child onto our player ship. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to disable our asteroid fields. And I'm going to disable our enemy ship manager just to kind of keep things simple. Now we go into our scene view and double click on this guy. We're gonna to wanna to position him somewhere that kind of makes sense. So let's bring him up and drag him back, maybe up a little bit more. That looks pretty good, maybe up just a little bit more. Cool. And maybe I'll rotate him a little bit on the x-axis here just to kind of match the pitch of the hall there that looks pretty good now this guy is broken up into a couple of different pieces i'm going to rename i'm going to unpack the prefab first of all so go down to prefab unpack completely rename this to turret And if we expand that, so those are the guns and that's the base. So I'm gonna rename this to guns. And the base we can rotate on this Y axis, which will give us kind of a, a horizontal or azimuth rotation. And then the guns we can rotate on the X axis to give us our altitude. So let's write a script to handle the rotation. Go into our scripts folder, weapons, we'll right click create C sharp script and call it turret. Select our turret over here. Let Unity think about this for a second. And then we will drag that turret script onto our turret game object and double click to open it up in the editor. 
Go ahead and minimize that. And then we will zoom in, delete this boilerplate code. And let's add some serialized fields. We're going to want some transforms after Unity IntelliSense or Riders IntelliSense catches up here. There we go. Serialized field. We want some transforms. Um, we're going to want our base, which is the turret base, our guns, and then our target. Now, I'm going to keep this tutorial simple. Um, we could definitely wire this up the same way we did the blasters and the missile launchers where we pass in the um, weapon input controls and where we let it have the targets from the radar screen and lock onto them. For simplicity's sake, just to show you how easy it is to implement a turret that locks onto a target, we're just going to drag a target into the inspector and that's the only target it's going to have. I just want to keep this tutorial simple and quick. Uh, we're going to want some more, um, actually just a float, I think, which is going to be our rotate speed. And I'm going to default that to about 100. And I'm going to add an expression body method property that's going to give us our target position from that target, if we have a target. And if we do have a target, we're just going to take the target position. Otherwise, we're going to take vector 3.0. And I'm going to declare a couple of other member variables here. I want a quaternion, which is going to be our base target direction. That's where we want the base to rotate to um, for the azimuth. And then we're going to want a vector 3 for our gun's target elevation. Now in the update method, we're going to first make sure we have a target. And if we don't, let's just return. We don't want to do anything. And then we want to calculate our horizontal rotation. And we want to calculate our vertical rotation. I guess I could have named that azimuth and altitude, but we'll just go with this. I'm going to hit Alt Enter, Create Method. So now we've got this guy here. And select this, hit Alt Enter, Create Method. And now we've got this guy right here. So we'll do the horizontal one first since that's the simplest. We're going to rotate the turret base on the y-axis. Row rate. So let's calculate up. I just want to cache this. It's going to be base dot up and calculate a direction to target. It's going to be a vector three. We're going to use a project on plane, taking the target position minus our position on the up axis. And then we're going to set that base target direction variable to be quaternion look rotation direction to target up. That's all there is to it. There we go. So now let's do the vertical rotation. This is a little bit more code. It's still not that complicated. Let's calculate a target position. We're going to take the gun's inverse transform direction, subtract the target position from our position, and then calculate a projected angle. That would be vector 3, project on plane, target position, vector 3 dot up. Calculate our elevation, vector three angle, project an angle. Let me rename that. All right, projected angle, target position, times math dot sine 
not like cosine sine, but just signing like positive negative. Um, target position dot y. All right. So I'm going to do a little comparison to epsilon here. Epsilon is just a tiny value. We're going to say that if the absolute value of the elevation is greater than mathf.epsilon, then we're going to set that target elevation to be vector 3 dot right times vector 3 dot right times negative elevation. Otherwise, we're going to set that to be vector three dot zero. Okay. I'm going to add a little comment here. We are rotating the guns on the X axis. That's what vector three dot right is. And then of course, to actually do the rotation, let's go into late update. And if we don't have a target, I'm just going to return. Otherwise, let's calculate our from position. This is only for the azimuth, which will be our look rotation base dot forward, base dot up. And we're going to say base rotation equals quaternion rotate towards from towards the base target direction. And we'll take our rotate speed times time dot delta time. And then for the altitude, we're just going to say guns dot local Euler angles equals guns target elevation. So let's jump back into Unity. And let's assign some things here. So pick a turret. We want to drag in the turret as the base transform, the guns for the guns transform. We're going to use this target as our target. So we're going to activate him, turn off his random target mover. We'll keep him in a fixed location out in front of the ship a ways, maybe up a little bit above to start. So go back into here and we'll drag that target into the target space. And in order to be able to see those turrets moving and tracking the target, I'm going to go into our camera setup here and pick our follow camera. And let's just move that, let's solo it so I can see it in the game view. And let's move that forward a little bit so we can see that turret. And one other thing I want to do before I forget is I want to turn off the animator. I don't know if that will cause problems. Uh, hopefully not, but I'm going to turn off the animator. So cross your fingers. I'll hit play. Fly around a little bit. Switch to my follow camera. And look at that. turret as I rotate the ship around is tracking the target. Well, hopefully you found that useful. And if you did, do me a favor and click the like and subscribe button. It really does help me to grow my channel. And pass the word on if you know anybody else that would be interested in this kind of content. Uh, share a link to my channel on your favorite social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Reddit, whatever. And if you have any other suggestions or comments or questions, drop a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and good luck on your game development journey.